Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and you join me down at Luminate on the second hole on the Lakes course. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button. And today we're gonna to be talking about a game that you can use on the course to help improve your accuracy and overall consistency, whilst also possibly putting you in a bit of trouble. So as you can see, I've got two balls. Now this is a worst ball drill. Now the whole point of this is I'm gonna hit these two tee shots. I'm gonna pick the worst ball, I'm gonna take the other ball to that spot. I'm gonna hit two shots from there, pick the worst ball and so on and so forth. Now, if I can make par with my worst ball, that is gonna show me that overall my consistency is pretty high. It's also gonna put me in situations that I might not like. So it's gonna put me in some trouble, it's gonna put me in some danger. And we're gonna talk through how to play those shots as well. Now, in an absolutely perfect world, if I was a very consistent player, I would smash these two balls down that fairway and hopefully leave me a chance with an approach into this par five. So that's what I'm gonna do. Two balls, let's see which is the worst shot. Oh, I just hoiked it left. Go on, get over the bunker, get over the bunker. I think it's got over the first fairway bunker, but it might be in the second. Anyway, second ball in from literally the same spot. Left the tee in the ground, that's always nice. So the second ball cannot be any worse than that, come on. Yeah, that's predicted. Second ball is down left side of the fairway. Oh, it's just curving. Yeah, left side of the fairway. So depending on those two lies, it's probably gonna be the one to the left-hand side. So, time to pick the worst drive. And I, have to, I promise you, I've not, I've not placed these and made it up. I've got one with no real stance. And I've got one which is perched up on the lip of a bunker. Now, the one on the lip of the bunker actually has a worse lie than this one. But I could probably go for the green from that lie. So I could probably squeeze something out there. With this one, I've no chance. It's a really difficult stance. So this is the one I'm gonna pick, and we're gonna have a look at how you can play this shot. So, the issue that we now have is stance. But, this is where course management comes into play. So I've gotta hit two shots from here and it's a par five, it's 250 yards left, and I wanna be leaving myself a short pitch in no matter what shot that I actually pick next. So I've gotta make sure that I can play these two balls consistently. Now, where the center of the fairway is, if I was to aim there normally with a stance, I would literally be in the base of the bunker, and that would mean, well, just an impossible shot. So I'm gonna to have to start adapting my feet to actually match. So I'm gonna put my left foot splayed outwards to try and get a firm base here, my right foot is pretty stable, that's okay. But because I'm a lot closer to the ball than I normally would do, I'm gonna to have to grip down the shaft quite a lot. Now, all I'm looking for here is a solid connection to get this going there about 110, 120 yards with my uh, five iron, and hopefully play the both shots pretty much the same. Okay, stance. <laughs> try and keep nice and balanced. It's gonna be very much a hands and arm shot, this one, just getting it down there, come on. Oh no, oh no, that's not gone very far at all. Damn, should have adapted maybe slightly further back in my stance. Hopefully that's gonna be the worst shot of the two. <laughs> we will soon, hello. We will soon see though. I'm gonna put it just behind that scuff mark. And grip even further down the shaft, slightly further back in my stance as well. Oh, that was much better. Just need much more hands and arms just to try and pick it off the surface. However, there is about 100 yards difference between those shots. So it looks like I'm gonna be faced with a mid to long guy in approach. So 220 yards left in for my third here on the par five, which is not ideal. But it just shows that after that second shot putting me in trouble, I'm now up against it to try and make that par. So 220 yards, I've got my four iron, the pin's at the front, and there's loads of bunkers surrounding it. So I'm either gonna hit the green, end up short in the fringe, or in a bunker. Those are my three options. 
As long as I get these two balls up and around the green, I've got a chance to get up and down. If I hit the green with both of them, that'll be a really, really tough ask because it's so long and so difficult. But that is the hope, that is my intention, and we will have to see. Go, go, go. Well, yeah, so the first one is just in front of the bunker on the right. Second one is just in front of the green on the left. So it looks like I'm gonna have a chip over a bunker to the pin. I'm really testing myself out here for your enjoyment. I hope you appreciate it. Make sure you comment below. So both balls finished in front of the green. This one in a little bit more of an awkward position. I've got the bunker to come over, but the other one was very straightforward. So I've moved both the balls over this way. I've got my lob wedge. Hopefully I can hit two consistent pitches enough to give myself a chance for a par. However, I've been saying that all the way down this hole, so the chances are I'm not sure. Uh, so I've got my 60 degree. I'm gonna be pitching it hopefully about halfway between the edge of the bunker and the pin and get a par. Which pretty much where, oh, that's not released as much as I thought. Might have to throw this a little bit further up. That was a actually a good shot, but <laughs> it didn't release anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Yeah. Okay, that's not released much either. I, I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm so annoyed I can't speak. Okay, so my second ball was closer by about six foot, but it's left me a relatively simple put, I think. It looks pretty straight uphill, nothing really much going on with this, I don't think, so I've got a good chance to make par. Now, with this game, you can still carry on using the worst ball system with your putts. I am gonna do that here, but if you did wanna save yourself some time, you can just go ahead and put as normal. There are other games to use to improve that part of the game. So. Let's have a go. Let's try and make two par putts, shall we? Oh, ho, ho. he's only got and made the first one. Right then, no pressure, but this could be all-time par. Right, okay. I'll know the line now anyway. Same line, same line. <gasps> so that was, yeah, a very adventurous five in the end, but it is a great game for testing you out from difficult situations. Now, depending on your handicap limit, this may favor some players more than others. If you're a 36 handicapper, this may get a little bit tedious, but if you are striking the ball more consistently, then this could work great for you. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well, which are all linked in the description below, and make sure you hit that like button as well. Thank you so much, Illumina, for having me down. It's been fantastic, and I'll see you next time.